सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू यूरपीडिया एजुकेशन सो एज यू कैन सी डी आर डी ओ इंटरव्यू टू जीरो टू थ्री वी नो फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन राइट नाउ द इंटरव्यूज आर गोइंग फॉर साइंटिस्ट पोजिशन इन डी आर डी ओ बट वॉट एवर ऑब्जर्वेशन आई हैव डन विद डिस्कशन यू नो विद दो स्टूडेंट हु आर ऑलरेडी डन विद देर इंटरव्यू सो देर आर मैनी फैक्टर विच आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस एंड शेयर विद दो स्टूडेंट whose interview dates are still pending and they have at least 10 to 15 days for preparation since from very first day i am telling you one thing that is the difference of mindset difference of mindset can create a very huge difference while you are appearing for drdo bark and isro interview what is this difference of mindset see if you are sitting in drdo interview with the mindset that if some question is being asked to me and i will answer the question and i will think about the question only if i have studied it and only if at that time instantaneously i am remembering some things related to that trust me if you will sit with this kind of mindset you will be always in the problem you will never feel comfortable you need to sit in interview with the mindset that i'm going there to discuss to do conversation with a professor or researcher or scientist whatever the best i can think instantaneously whatever the best i can apply instantaneously whatever the questions condition problem assumption given to me i will take them as a input and i will try to find the solution instantaneously if you are sitting with this mindset trust me you will be able to answer many question like those which you haven't much idea about also see when you are sitting for the drdo interview guys your application knowledge is very very important for example i am taking some example student are saying sir if we are telling them that these are our four favorite subjects still they are asking question from the other subject yes definitely they will ask question they will ask basic of radar they will ask basic of microwave so tomorrow if you are saying sir i told them edc network analog digital but sir they ask me the question what are the frequency bands of microwave communication so it means yeah that is a very basic question right that question you can expect from all the subjects when we talk about you need to prepare and focus four to five subject that means in depth that means in detail but ultimately you need to have overview of the entire subject if tomorrow they are asking you what do you mean by the isotropic antenna then you can't claim that sir i haven't prepared emft i haven't take the name of emft but still they ask this question so this is a very common question right so don't think that they will ask only question from those subject whose name you have mentioned you can expect some fundamental and basic question from other subject also second thing i am taking one example they will ask you to draw one non inverting op amp you will draw very happily and they will ask you that provide one sinusoidal input you will obviously apply and they will ask you the output and they will give you the gain of this op amp is some finite value okay you will tell the value you know output upon input is equal to gain and you will find the corresponding output then they will extend this question towards some other application they got to know that you know the very basic things but let's testify on the practicality of the device on the assumptions of the device they will start asking you consider the slew rate into picture also assume that operational amplifier slew rate is this much then tell us the output then draw the shape of the output versus time so these kind of question they can incorporate they will not specifically ask you what is slew rate they can ask but this kind of the approaches is required so if you have open mindset and if you believe that i will answer the questions i will try to put my entire knowledge to think upon what is being asked to me and then i will answer i am sure you will answer most of the question there is one more common example related to biasing you know biasing stabilization these are the very basic terminology for any electrical circuit or electronics engineer right but they will not ask you question what is biasing they might ask you okay you will tell the biasing is this thing we need to provide some power supply to bias the operation of the device blah blah this kind of stuff right 
then what they will do they will ask you to draw an operational amplifier or some transistor and they will give you some battery polarity as per their interest as per their knowledge as per their direction in which direction they want to let you go and they will ask tell us now what is the biasing of this device so you know the definition of biasing but they want to check whether you actually know what biasing is how the biasing is done if some device is biased are you able to configure in which region it is biased so guys you need to think like this way okay if you are thinking that your interview will be totally on the basis of the subject knowledge then it will be very difficult for you to crack so kindly keep those all point into consideration for all the future aspirant if you have 10 to 15 days time please invest your time in preparing those subject in this direction now i talk about communication many times students say communication is my favorite subject guys they can ask you some basic of satellite communication they can ask you uplink downlink frequency they can ask you path gain they can ask you gain of antenna they can ask you directivity anything because when you're saying communication is my favorite domain it doesn't mean that they will restrict only up to analog and digital communication communication is a very wide communication domain so these all point you need to take into consideration second thing related to your work experience related to your project you may face lot of good questions so i have told you in the beginning also if currently you are a working professional specifically if you are working in some area related to aircraft missile radar this kind of area then you are a ready made and tailor made material for them they can grill you with some good question related to your work profile So finally concluding this was one observational video one analysis or review video on the basis of the DRDO interview so that the future coming aspirant can take help from this and they can start preparing in the given direction so your pedia education have always started to provide mentoring and guidance for the student in the same direction so if you are still you know not done with your interview and you want to prepare you can join hand with us thank you